Hello! Today we are doing a video to sort of commemorate Ani's 18 month birthday. Um, ideally we would have done this when she turned one year old, but we just didn't think about it. So we're starting it now. Better late than never. Can you say hi? Hi! I'm gonna film my part um, today during the day and then Lauda's gonna do hers tonight when she gets home from work. That way we don't influence each other's, each other's answers. Oh my. Um, so what we'll do is I'll answer and then I'll splice in um, Lauda's answer for each question. So there are about 15 questions, not including the basics like name, age, and nicknames, but let's start with that. Name, Ani. Age, 18 months. Nicknames, oh lord, what don't I call this child? I call her the Banshee. Ani is actually a nickname, it's not her full name. Um, I call her Ani Banani, I call her Sassafras. Um, I call her Stinks. Um, I call her all sorts of stuff. It probably changes day to day, but the most common are Ani Banani and the Banshee. Hi, I'm home from work. Long day. This is this you can actually see on my eyes. I'm tired, so. Nicknames. Um, Ani, I think I was the one that came out with Ani, and I usually call her Bebe. So now onto the 15 questions. Number one, favorite snack. Um, I would say her favorite snack, it's probably a tie between frozen blueberries, and yes, they need to be frozen, or um, it was like freeze-dried yogurt melties. Um, she likes other things, but those are her consistent go-tos. Favorite snacks, melties, the, those uh, puffy peanut butter thingies, uh, blueberries. Question number two, favorite meal. Um, it's definitely something with pasta, and I'm gonna be inclined to say it's this like tomato-based pasta soup that Lauda makes. She will eat so much of that stuff, like two and three helpings, and then she loves it as leftovers too. It's sort of like SpaghettiOs, but with a better tasting broth slash sauce. Favorite meal, uh, SpaghettiOs, or anything spaghetti with tomato. Um, I think. Uh, fries, french fries. <laughs> I don't know if that's a meal, but she likes those a lot. That is it, yes. Question number three, favorite drink, breast milk. <laughs> um, she really only drinks, obviously, breast milk sometimes. We're starting to start the process of completely weaning. Um, she loves ice water. <laughs> favorite drink will be um, orange juice with a little bit of water. She loves that, uh, especially if she tries it for the first time. Um, water and milk. Number four, favorite TV show. She doesn't watch much TV, but the only show that we've ever tried that she will actually sit and watch all the way through is Little Baby Bum. I don't know what it is about that show. Everybody I know with a kid about this age is obsessed. It, it's almost scary. We really limit how much of that she watches because she gets like laser focused Nothing is happening around her. It is all about Little Baby Bum. Favorite TV show, uh, Little Baby Bum. Just don't tell that out loud to her. Oh, she did. Yeah, we already know. Number five, favorite book. Oh Lord, I don't know. She loves all books. Currently, this week, we've probably read either Hush Now Banshee or um, Mr. Brown Can Moo Can You the most. Favorite book, uh, Hush Now Banshee, I think, <laughs> I don't know if that's the name, but I think uh, she likes that book a lot. And um, we're going on a bear hunt too. Um, and I'm trying to think about a Spanish book, but I think Love Mama or something like that. The one that's undestructible, she has been liking that book a lot. Number six, favorite toy. I'm gonna say um, yeah. crayons, like she loves the color, or she has like a lacing bead kit that she really likes. So those are probably the two things that she gets out the most during the day or requests the most. Uh, favorite toy would be, um, we bought her a tiny kitchen area and she plays with it a lot. Uh, another thing that I notice her playing a lot with is, um, <laughs> Tiny boxes that uh, actually I got a set for a dollar at Walmart. I can't remember where I had it. Now she has lost all the pieces, but um, it was just boxes where you can put like 
uh, hairpins inside. Seven favorite activity being read to or going outside. That's probably a tie. She either of those two things and she's there a hundred percent. Favorite activity will be painting, walking, running, pinching, you know. Number eight, how would you describe her personality? I've been asked this quite a few times recently and I always say wild but determined. She has a ton of energy. She loves moving, being independent, figuring things out, but she can also be really focused until she learns how to do something the way she wants it to. Wild. I don't know. I tried to see if I was like that when I was little, but my mom said that was a little bit cold. So I don't know what the, that meant for us. Number nine, what makes them happy? She loves when mama gets home at the end of the workday. Like, it's super cute to see that. And just playing with us. She's a very happy baby most of the time. She can get frustrated like any toddler, but probably 90% of the time she's really happy and easy to entertain. Boobies. <laughs> Question 10, what makes her sad or mad? Um, being tired or hungry, always. It'd be a fact if she's fussy and grouchy, one of those two things, either a nap or a snack, almost always fix it. And she has one or two books that make noises, like the ones where you push the buttons that she's horrified of. We've had to put them up. So that's sort of a random one, but yeah, she doesn't like those. Ooh, not knowing what she wants. She is a girl. She, if you cannot read her mind, she gets mad. Question 11, what do they, what does she call my parents? She calls my parents nothing right now, but she will call them probably grandma and grandpa unless she comes up with some cute nickname for them. I don't think she has called them anything. Abuela y abuelito, oh, abuelito y abuelita. Uh, question 12, does she have a comfort item? She doesn't really. She's had the same two blankets in her bed since she's been able to have blankets in there. And it's one that we got her before she was born has little narwhals on it that hold a, say, uh, a sign that says not a unicorn and then she has sort of a mint green crocheted blanket that my grandma made for her. She can sleep without them but they are there every night so I suppose they're comfort items. My boobs. <laughs> she does. Every time I come home from work it's the first thing she looks for. Question 13. What is her bedtime and nap time? Um, I've just transitioned her to one nap a day. Generally, it's somewhere between about 11.30 to 12, and she sleeps anywhere from an hour to two hours during that nap. Bedtime, usually around 7.30 p.m., give or take, depending on her mood and how tired she is. Mm, nap time, I think we moved it recently to 12, and I think she's sleeping about two hours, not necessarily two hours, but close to. And nap time is usually around... 7, 7.30, not 8, if not, she loses interest on sleeping. <laughs> That's not good for me. Question number 14, what makes them awesome? What doesn't make her awesome? <laughs> um, one of my favorite things about her is just how sort of multifaceted her personality is. She's like silly and energetic, she loves to dance, she loves to make us laugh, but then she can also be really focused on an activity. Like she, I'm not exaggerating, would sit and let us read to her for probably an hour at a time. And when she wants to figure something out, she's really focused until she figures it out. Everything, that girl is awesome all the way through. Have you seen it? She's like the coolest girl I know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, she's, she, I wish I could, I could be as cool as she is. Question 15, what is your favorite memory? Um, like, I'm assuming that means what is your favorite memory sort of around this time frame? Um, what's my favorite memory of you? Hmm? I think my favorite memory of her right now is just reading books to her. She's so cuddly and focused when we do that and she's not necessarily a baby who's content to just sit and cuddle. Um, like I said, she doesn't really care to watch TV or do really sedentary activities. So reading books to her is probably my favorite activity because I love to read. Recently is her on her duck <laughs> costume, running all over the front yard, uh, trying to get all the, um, 
Halloween tr treats and treasures we actually put in on the front. I actually like how she took them off and put them on the basket. Um, so, yeah. That is her 15 question, 18 month update milestone video. And yeah, um, this will be fun to look back on when she's older. Honestly, most of these questions probably, oh boy. Somebody asked me why we had those mattresses there. She doesn't sleep on them. We put them there for her to climb up and down and off of. What was I saying? Oh, honestly, most of these answers would have been very similar at her 12 month video had we made one. So there's something to be said about that. But hopefully you enjoyed our answers. I'm curious to see how now that I've combined them, Laura and I are the same or different. But yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Bye-bye.